Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on X, formerly known as Twitter. Twitter. A couple things before we get started on uh, the topic we're going to get started on. Some squatties were trying to make the argument that when Princess Catherine made her sad announcement that mm -hmm. she unfortunately has cancer, that it was some sort of AI or, or something weird because she's worn that sweater before. Well, first of all, I don't think it was the exact same sweater, but this is the thing. A lot of people do that. They wear the same clothes more than once. They're not all Megan where they have to send their clothes back after they've merged it. Um, this is also something that we've talked about before where I, I personally do it. I don't know about Stephanie in everyday I would, life. I wear but, this jacket um, all the time. I personally do it because, and I learned this from <laughs> a lot of us, <laughs> a lot of celebrities in LA do it, okay? It doesn't age you. If you wear the same clothes or type of clothes um, throughout the years, or if you just kind of don't change up your wardrobe a lot, or you stay to the same color, then people don't look back at pictures and go, oh, that was back in uh, 2014, or that was back in this. It doesn't really age little you. Trick. It's a little trick. And it's like being a superhero. It's like it a is. superhero it uniform. Is. Yeah. And my boyfriend does it. I, I always tell him he learned it from me. He says I learned it from him. But my boyfriend does it. It also helps with not getting noticed as much. Uh, when you want to go out to dinner, if you want to just walk through an airport and you don't want people to notice you, if you're just kind of like in just regular street clothes that you wear all the time. So, uh, no, Princess Catherine was not AI. It was proven. Or anything like that. That is a common trick that a lot of people do. Even Prince William like wears the same pants all the time. Even Prince Harry does it. You know, Megan, like I said, Megan's the only one who does it because unfortunately for Megan, she has to merch everything now because that's her only way of making money. That's it. She can't rewear clothes. Yeah. She doesn't have that luxury that Brad Pitt has. She's not an icon. She's, she's a Kardashian now. Yeah, she's a Kardashian now. Unfortunately. So I mean, oh God, the thought of having to like put on a new outfit mm -hmm. every day. Just to make money. Just to oh, that would drive me crazy. Oh, she's so pathetic. The other thing I wanted to get to was this just came out today. A playwright named Jeremy O'Harris is developing a controversial new project based on the royal family. And this project has the F word in it. Mm -hmm. And it supposedly is about Prince George and him coming out to the family and how that somehow ruins the royal family or or becomes a problem or something like that. Now, we cannot speak for this play. We have not read it. Okay. We also believe in free speech. Obviously, the guy has every right to do it. Should he do it is a different story. If it's about a 10-year-old boy coming out in a very provocative way, or if it's going to be graphic in any way, then yes, that is very gauche. That's very disgusting. And he, he, he personally, he shouldn't do it. That's our opinion. Yeah. Can he do it? Unfortunately, probably, yes. Yeah. He's uh, the playwright of Slave Play, which is very popular. Very, it very. was very popular on Broadway. Critical so. acclaim. Very critical acclaim. Um, I don't know why he's doing this. So we will come with you with more information when we get it and try to dissect why he's doing this, what it's about. Again, I the royal family really doesn't need this right now. Yeah. And especially a 10-year-old boy... I don't think anybody should ever bring up kids. Well, ever. We talk about that. We talked about that last week. People are jumping on the bandwagon and the royals are extremely popular right now. And this is another and thing. They want to make money. Yeah, this is another thing. The royals are very vulnerable right now. Yeah. So this is the time when you're going to see people taking advantage. And this is seems like he's just taking advantage of something that probably shouldn't be taken advantage of right now. I don't think this is going to help his career. I think it's going to hurt it in the long run. I really do. And, yeah. and I hope he doesn't do it, but what can you do? It's well, he made so much 
uh, he, he had so much fame for slave play. It's like, you know, sometimes the only way, yeah, way up is down, you know? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like he went, you know, and sometimes their sophomore releases mm -hmm. are always not great. So this yeah. could be his, his, uh, you know, situation. I, I, I just, I don't know. Like I said, we can't speak on it right now. This is super early. I just saw it. Yeah, I'd so, love to read it though. Yeah. Um, I'd like to get my hands on a copy of it, but a I, galley I, copy. I doubt that's going to happen. Could you, could you send us a galley copy? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Send us a galley copy. We'll read it. We're in equity. <laughs> yeah. We pay our, our dues. We do. We got a thing the other day. Like we're supposed to vote on something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care we're anymore. We're union members yeah. that we have to vote? I know. <laughs> I don't know where those went. Oh, They're probably around. Them. Okay. So now to the topic at hand, we wanted to bring up, because I think, and I think you think this too, we think that Megan is going to launch yeah. this uh, American Riviera Orchard Easterish. We think that. We think that was the plan all along to somehow upstage Princess Catherine coming back into the public view. Yep. Because in her mind, she thought, okay, well, she said Easter. Yep. So I better come out with something. If Easter. I know Megan, because Megan has managed to try to upstage a lot of moments. So let's talk about this. Now, this is why I don't think Megan's lifestyle brand is going to make it. Even if she wasn't attached to the royal family and even if she wasn't Meghan Markle. I just don't think there's a market for it anymore. I think the people like Gwyneth Paltrow and Jessica Alba mm -hmm. and all these other people who have done it, even the Kardashians, I think they have spent years and years creating some sort of trust mm -hmm. with the public in order to create these lifestyle brands. So I'm gonna go by the article that People Magazine put out because that is Megan's go-to rag and they seem to like her over there and get the inside scoop. So, I'm, so obviously this is really what she's gonna do. Megan Markle adds makeup, pet food, yoga mats, and more to lifestyle brand in new trademark applications. The Duchess of Sussex 42, yeah, right, is pursuing trademarks for exclusive rights to sell cosmetic products, home decor, stationery, linens, small kitchen appliances, condiments, yoga equipment, gardening gear, and pet accessories, plus more tableware and jarred food products under the American Riviera Orchard name. Obviously, this all falls under the umbrella of what Martha Stewart managed to do and build a billion dollar empire on. I'm gonna bring up like the small fish. Like Chrissy Teigen took the home decor and she did the Target stuff and she was able to do that until she made the huge mistake of going after minors on Twitter. Bullying minors. Yeah. And then you have your cosmetic products, which means she's going to want to do a makeup line. Mm -hmm. But there are about a million makeup lines out there from yeah. people. Lady Gaga has one. Rihanna. Who's going to trust buying makeup from yeah. Meghan Markle? Right. I just see this as a much grander thing. I don't think Meghan Markle is personally going into factories and, and starting a pet accessory line or a makeup line. I see this coming from a Kardashian type situation where people in Dubai are coming to her and saying, we have these products and we can, we can put your name on this if yeah. you sell them. I see it coming from a much grander scale. I, you know, um, Goob is different. Gwyneth Paltrow uh, really does uh, formulate some of these products. You know, that candle that she did, all that all that rigmarole stuff. Yeah. But Megan is coming from a Kardashian place. Yes. And I think it's also going to be sort of like Pooches. Those of you who don't know, Kourtney Kardashian started a uh, lifestyle, lifestyle brand website called Poosh, and it's selling a bunch of stuff. Just but like Goop, but just like, like Goop, but at a tier. lower tier. And a, a bunch of products from Dubai and other countries that she puts her name on. And, um, you know, it also comes from a marketing place dude i hate to i hate to tell everybody that but it does come from a marketing place where then uh other people are then encouraged to buy a certain amount of these products and then they go on their facebook instagram twitter not in so much twitter but facebook a lot and they sell it to other people and it becomes this multi level, level marketing, marketing. Scam. yeah now we don't know that yet we not have yet. not seen 
her launch. But I can only imagine. Yeah, we have not seen her launch anything yet. We don't know. But from what we see Mm -hmm. on here, it just looks like she's taking advantage of what is already out in the market. Even the pet stuff. Making your own pet food is so strange to me because you're either going to go for the the really expensive route and go through the farmer's dog. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guys don't know, a farmer's dog, they deliver at your house and it's so cute because they put your dog's name on the thing. They give you portions. It's really convenient, but it's very expensive. Or so many people make homemade pet food Mm -hmm. now. You can just go and Google it throw everything into a crock pot and make your dog's food for the week. It's very simple if you want to go the homemade route. I just, I would not buy pet food from Meghan Markle. And that, but that's why I think it, it, again, we don't know for sure until this launches, but I do believe it might be part of that um, poosh world where it might be a marketing uh, scheme. Where where people have to buy it. And this is all speculation. And sell it for her. Yeah. Let's look more at the people article. The Duchess of Sussex appears to be diving into the beauty business from skincare to cosmetics to scents. Beyond fragrance and lavender sachets, the trademark application lists non-medicated skincare preparations, bath and shower gels, and salts not for medical purposes, non-medicated hair preparations, bath soap, bar soap, non-medicated hand soaps, body creams, bath oil, body lotions, cosmetics, body oil, scented oils, air fragrance, reed diffusers, fragrances, room fragrances, incense. The same document further mentions jewelry, lockets, jewelry dishes, and ring holders, which aligns with the Duchess of Sussex's personal style. It also sounds like she's trying to do a Stella and Dot. Same same thing, the marketing. Stella the marketing and style. Dot, yeah, you buy jewelry mm-hmm. and uh, it's yeah, like... Good good call. Yeah, yeah just jewelry. Thanks and then, for reminding me. And then that. you can then sell it to your friends. I don't know. This is just speculation that she might try to do speculation. an MLM scheme. Mary Kay type thing. Mary Kay type Maybe. Thing. Like I'm yeah. saying, because I just don't see people going on a website of hers when you have so many different options mm-hmm. of good quality, like Jessica Alba started the Honest Company, and it originally was just for baby mm-hmm. stuff. Now she does kid stuff. She does adult skincare. Mm-hmm. She does adult makeup. Yeah. And the thing about Jessica Alba is she has created this brand for the last twenty years of trust. If I'm gonna buy clean makeup from anybody, I'm gonna go with the yeah. Honest Company. It's not gonna be the Kardashians. It's not gonna be any. No. It's not gonna be Kardashians. I don't and trust them. I trust Jessica Alba. Mm-hmm. I don't trust Meghan Markle. No, no. Or anyone who associates with the Kardashians. No, no, I just no, no, don't no. trust them. Yeah, it's too much of a, a get rich quick scheme. And especially with all those endeavors. Yeah. Dog stuff, makeup. Well, there's line. more. Do you want now to we see got more? Per- now we got sense. There's that's more. A, that's a lot going on. There's more. Oh, wallpaper, pillows, furniture, picture frames, live flower arrangements, and seeds for planting are also named. Other highlight items are wine carrying cases and bags, calling back to Megan's original lifestyle blog, The Tig, which was named after her favorite wine, Tiganello. The Duchess of Sussex ran the site while starring on Suits and shuttered the lifestyle site dedicated to food, travel, fashion, and personal reflections in 2017 during her courtship with Prince Harry. (laughs) I gotta just say, I've never heard of the TIG, no. and I follow lifestyle, international lifestyle brands. Especially back in the 2015 Definitely. to 2020 days. Oh, I was following them back then. I'm just saying yeah. even more so, but I'm saying I never heard of the TIG. Stephanie was so into those like Kabbalah strings and the, the candles, candles yeah. for like $200 oh, that I you would keep it. by your bed. Yeah. Oh and my pray. goodness. Yeah. It was like, I'm telling you, Stephanie would I have known. I would have known. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how this American Riviera Orchards is going to expand past the tig. It just really something sounds, I didn't even know existed. It sounds like like she's trying to do Martha Stewart, but it sounds to me. Uh, let me, sounds, let me finish wild. what she's trying to say. It sounds to me like they're broke <laughs> yeah. and they need money. Yeah, that's it. 
Beyond household linen, bedspreads, bed blankets, pillowcases, bed sheets, bed skirts, throws, bath linen, interior decoration fabrics, picnic blankets, table linen of fabric or textiles, coasters of textile, textiles placemats, napkins of textile, textile tablecloths, curtains, curtain towels, kitchen linens, woven fabrics, gift wrap of textile or fabric, knitted fabrics, textile wall hangings, felt and non-woven textile fabrics, beach gear, also gets a mention with towels and blankets. The Duke of Sussex 39 has cited the beach as a highlight of life in Montecito and locals say he's known to spend time there. Oh, uh oh, I just got an alert on my phone. Megan is also selling us a bridge. Oh, and she is also selling ice to Alaska. Wow. To the good people of Alaska. That's that amazing. Should be interesting. So I hope she does well. Yeah. Trademark that, Megan. A second application also filed on March 9th lists everything from gardening shears and string lights to printed greeting cards and day planners. I got to say, the string lights and the, all like the, everything in my garden. The outdoor decor. Everybody already has all that stuff. I have it. We've done it. There's nothing. Does she have anything new? No, there's no originality to this one, dude. Day planners, paper decoration, <laughs> wrapping paper, photo albums, and calligraphy pens. I mean, if you go up and down at Hawthorne Boulevard in Portland, Oregon, or Division now, because Southeast Division, where we live, it is so trendy. It's got a million of these stores, guys. And why wouldn't you buy local? It's not cool to not buy local. <laughs> American Riviera Orchard also seeks to sell candle holders, non-electric aromic oil diffusers, <laughs> other than reed diffusers, tea light essential oil diffusers, electric aromatherapy oil diffusers, incense burners, plates for diffusing. Oh God. Is she opening a anthropology? <laughs> yes. And, and a party city. It'll be a party city within an anthropology store. Oh my God. There's a lot going on there. And a Petco. We got a Petco. We got a party city. We got an anthropology. Wow. We got, One we got stop a, shopping. Yeah. Yeah. We got a Home Depot in there too. Now this just lists all the uh, kitchenware stuff. And like I said, good luck competing with all the ladies like Martha Stewart and Chrissy Teigen, people that have already put their crap in Target. And I go to Pottery Barn. Hello. And there's Pottery Barn. There's <laughs> Restoration Hardware. Hardware. There's like a million <laughs> places. Specific kitchen items include bakeware, pots, roasting. Like I said, this is all this, the Target stuff. This that is cravings by, uh, by uh, Chrissy Teigen. Foods yeah. include honey, butter. Like I said, you have to trust her to buy things that she okays as far as what's good. And she only works an hour a week. I want to remind everybody, that's all she works. So her, her checking off these things and it's going through quality control, AKA Megan, don't trust it yeah. with an hour a week of work. This is the thing about that. You can want that. Everybody wants that. Everybody wants that. Even, even back then, I remember when Martha Stewart got a gig with Kmart, she was so excited because that's a retail store. It's a huge deal. No retail store is going to make a deal with Megan. There's just, they saw what happened with Chrissy Teigen. Oh, yeah. There will be too much backlash. Kardashians and Sears. Fallout. They yeah. saw what happened JC with Penn. the Kardashians. They have to drop people. It's just too much of a mess. And they know that. It's too much of a headache. They just know that. So I think she's going to launch this thing probably this weekend, next week. And it's interesting because Resting Dollface gave that uh, theory a few months ago that Megan is hanging out with that gal, you know, from the, the mommy uh, support group. Yeah. You know, that she does that, that uh, Resting Dollface had that, that great theory that she's probably going to start branching into mommy products. Oh yeah, for and, sure. And this is, this is uh, for interesting, sure, the for name, sure. the LLC name now. Yeah. So um hundred percent. Yeah, resting doll face, always cracking those codes, those <laughs> always figuring out those puzzles. That's for sure. I know. Well, good luck, Megan. You're going to need it. Yeah, you might want to get one of those Kabbalah candles and pray. Today's animal rescue was suggested to us by one of you. We always love it when you guys give us suggestions. We get to learn more about foundations that need our help. This is called the Brittany Foundation. It's a nonprofit in Los Angeles. 
and they take homeless dogs, they rehabilitate them, they care for them, and they place them in loving homes. I will put their link in the description below. Please take a look at their website. If you can't give them any love today, that's fine. Just share their information with friends and family. It really does make a difference. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Yes. And we will. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go, go take a hot shower. I'm going to go get some bath salts. Yes. And with my some aromatherapy. With, with my uh, crock pot and yeah. uh, make some homemade dog food. Mm -hmm. with, with some party decorations. some streamers. incense. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hang my my lights, my outdoor party yeah. lights. And uh, what else am I going to do? I'm going to go get some. Uh, Seeds. Yeah, seeds. seeds, plant some seeds. What else am I gonna do? I'm gonna do a lot. Whew. A lot Make of my stuff. bedding, my bedding, get my, my bedding, bedding get material, my bedding get my right. linens, my uh, Partesian yeah. linens, that and she's and sell. some uh, beach towels for Harry. Yeah, yeah. A lot going on today. A lot with awesome. the Sidley sisters. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. We love you guys. Bye. We'll see you soon. We'll see you.